There are a few things we need to set up on a Mac before we can access the data loading client for Transmart. First, we need to download and install Xquartz, a display server we will need in order to access the data loading client. Direct your browser to xquartz.macosforge.org slash landing. Under Quick Download, click on the xquartz-275.dmg package. Run the installation process for Xquartz, then restart your computer. I have already installed Xquartz on my computer, so I will proceed to the next step. Mac users may want to install an SFTP or FTP client to facilitate the data loading process for Transmart. SFTP and FTP stand for Secure File Transfer Protocol and File Transfer Protocol, respectively. These network protocols provide file access, file transfer, and file management functionalities over a data stream. An FTP client can be used to move data files to the Transmart server so that the data loading client can access them. An FTP client is not absolutely essential for loading files to the Transmart server. Files can be placed in other locations as long as you can access them with the data loading client. Check with your server administrator if you have questions. One FTP client you can use is FileZilla. Direct your browser to FileZilla-project.org. Click the Download FileZilla Client button. Run the installation package for FileZilla. I have already installed FileZilla, so I will proceed to the next step. Now launch FileZilla. We need to connect it to the appropriate host for the Transmart server. I have the host information for a University of Michigan Transmart server listed on this green sticky note. The host information is transmart-webdev2med.umich.edu. Check with your server administrator for your host information. Enter your Transmart username and password. Then enter 22 for the port and click Quick Connect. You will now be able to drag and drop files into the Queued Files tab to add them to the server. Now launch the Xquartz application. A terminal will appear. Each time you want to launch the data loader for Transmart, you will need to enter a few commands into the Xquartz terminal. I find it helpful to keep these commands handy using Mac stickies. I have the information for Xquartz listed on the yellow sticky here. The first line is export display equal colon zero dot zero and then assets h minus y and my username. If you do not know your username and password for Transmart or are unable to log in, contact your server administrator. If you are a University of Michigan user, your username and password will be the same as for your UMich email. Now that I've entered my username, I'll hit enter and enter my password. Now I need to enter the directory location specific to this University of Michigan instance of Transmart. I will enter the directory commands for a University of Michigan Transmart instance now.
And on the last line, I'll enter the last directory location command. And the data loading client is now launching. I'm going to X out of this missing folders announcement. We now need to set our preferences for the data loading client. Click on Preferences from the top menu. And click on Database Preferences. Talk to your server administrator to get a list of the appropriate preferences. When you have entered all of the preferences, click Save and then OK. You have now installed all of the necessary software and selected the correct preferences in order to use the Transmart data loading client.